Can you believe they buffed Warriors again? <sighs> All right, let's go over these patch notes, guys. Skins are sick. Skins are dope. Ah, you see Pittsburgh Knights Scylla skin, huh? I feel like that one's pretty, like, an obvious one. There's literally Scylla, Scylla one of those worlds, basically, right? So I feel like this was, a, this was an obvious one. Uh, another bunch of cool skins. Love this Honor skin. Honor skin is dope. All right. Let's take a look at the juiciness. New rank conquest draft system. They, this was on their radar for a while. I believe they just had to make the tech to implement it. I'm glad they finally did. Yesterday I was sitting in queue for so long. Rough stuff. Okay, but that's good though. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, here we go. Death's Toll. Increased physical power from 15 to 20. Increased magical power 30 to 35. Small buff, but really good for the laning phase. Um, definitely going to see this getting picked up. It's just, it's just weird to me that they do these changes, but they don't also buff Cal. Right? It's like... I don't know. It's like they give items and it, like some of the starters an advantage over the others. So Cal without 20 fizz power is probably going to die. It's probably going to die down. And it'll probably just be Death Stolt. Blue Stone, Gilded Arrow. Gilded Arrow, this is a big buff too. Basic attack damage to 20 to 25. That is big. Maybe, maybe you can see Death Stolt Crusher, Death Stolt uh transcendence death toll whatever buffs coming in i mean builds coming in and then gilded arrow devil gloves i think might make a comeback here gilded arrow devil gloves might make a comeback i wonder if you can rush aussie with this too you have 25 attack power with attack speed it's nice i don't know could be interesting but these are these are strong buffs for these starters so i mean these two i, I i'm gonna presume is gonna be the dominant starter well you don't you don't so you don't upgrade gilded you sell it right i would not upgrade gilded arrow i would sell it all right let's take a look what else we got here vamp shroud back up to 30 power interesting you see this is what happens like they nerf the power of vamp shroud it doesn't have the same power as other items and then it just goes away you know what i mean like th these values have to be similar um you know because clear is so important in smite right like clear is if not the most important thing in the early game so those like power values have to be similar very close or make it made up for it in uh other other stats but that's like the most boring thing in the early game. And like, all right, it's Sigil, right? Buffing the tanks. Wow. Now has a 5% damage mitigation as a stat. Applied always. Increased duration of the passive rebuke buff, which provides stacking damage mitigation. I don't, I don't even, I don't know. And then here, dude. Decreased stacks required to, okay. So this item was being built on everybody, right? Like not just not this sigil, but like sigil in general. And then they decided to buff it, which is like mind blowing to me, bro. Decrease the stacks required to trigger the explosion from four to three. Increase, and they increase the damage, bro. Like what? Who thought of this? Bro, who thought everyone was building this item, bro? Who thought of this change? Hello? Bro, we're gonna get... <laughs> look at this. We're gonna get exploded by Sigil. 600 every uh, three stacks. We're gonna get killed by Pridwin. But you know what's gonna happen, dude? A Nike's gonna blink in. She's gonna alt. I'm gonna take the alt damage for 500. I'm gonna take the Pridwin damage for 500. I'm gonna take the infused Sigil damage for 600. What is that? 1600 damage and i only have 1800 health and what if they build thorns bro
Bro. I only have 1,800 health. You can go pretty one on anyone, dude. And then... They but they gave Warrior's Axe. They took away the health. I think this is something that Warriors wanted or Solo Laners wanted. Where they wanted less tanky, more offensive starters. So does Organa okay. Whatever, then another Solo Laner. Not that serious. And um I think this is something they wanted, which I think is fine. I think this is cool change. I like these changes. Sundering Axe. 40 power and then they took away the um the health this is this is an interesting change i'm curious how many soul laners are going to get this or are they going to go sigil so one thing that might um one thing that might um be interesting is that if warrior zax becomes the meta then no one's going to buy sigil and i don't have to worry about this right so it's just going to depend how good Warrior's Axe is in lane compared to Sigil in lane, right? Like, which one beats out the other? It's going to be a really interesting battle. It's not that they're both good, Thorian. It's one is going to win out against the other. One's going to become the meta over the other. Because if you build Warrior's Axe and you're like Osiris, and the other guy builds Sigil and he's Nike or Cthulhu or whatever, and the Warrior's Axe just bullies them really hard, then the other, then, you know... This is going to be removed from the meta and everyone's going to go Warrior's Axe to compete in lane, right? So that that's one thing that I'm interested in. The Warrior's Axe versus the Sigil in lane. Like, who wins out? And it has to be, like, a decisive win. It has to be... A, I feel like it has to be a decisive, a decisive win for Warrior's Axe for people to not go Sigil. We'll see. There could just be different styles. There could just be different styles, like, um, uh, what's it called? Of solo laners. It could be, like, Wukong, Warrior's Axe full damage or something. Or, like, a, a Nike Sigil or something like that. You know, I don't know. It, it'll, have to, it'll have to be tested a bunch. Lotus Crown. I would have I liked to see a nerf to this item besides the cost, because I think it's a very broken item. To combine healing with protections, I feel like is insanely op and i don't think the cost increases enough maybe a 200 cost increase i think this item is extremely busted mystical mail with a well-deserved nerf i think this was just a really good nerf here i mean it's probably good that they didn't nerf the damage on mystical mail because i know solo laners would complain but it wouldn't even have been that bad since they're giving power to axe so i don't know I think they just have to let it play out before they make further changes, but I think these changes are good for now. Okay, next. Book of the Dead. Increased power from 100 to 120. 20% CCR. Increased the mana shield on the passive. From 20% you max mana to 30%. I'm not really sure if this is ever worth it because I don't know if you ever have enough mana to where the shield makes a difference. Um, the power doesn't matter too much. The 20 CCR is definitely nice. I think you'd probably have to go like Book of Thoth with this. I don't know. Maybe there's a build in there somewhere or maybe on specific gods like Hera. The Calkin could be decent with it. Yeah. Uh, okay, next. Staff of Mirrodin. They really want people to build this, huh? You know what's the thing about mage items, bro? Is like, I feel like mages, just like hunters, they have to go certain items. And there's just not a lot of room for an item like Mirrodin. You know, I just, I feel like it's hard for them to build Mirrodin when you have other items that have such powerful passives like, like uh, Soul Reaver or E Staff or Soul Gem or, you know, just pen items in general. So I just feel like it's very difficult for mids to build this item even if they wanted to and fail not increase critical strike chance from 10 percent to 20 percent okay that's just a revert right i mean i don't even remember what they did to it at this point they also nerfed the power didn't they 
I don't think I don't know if this item might be worth like later late 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 game. It's like your sixth item if you sell your starter or something. It does have twenty percent chance. I'm kind of like this has pen on it too. So you could definitely do like okay, you could definitely do wind demon, deathbringer fail not right. And skip dominance. Definitely something. Now th this is a nice buff here, executioner. It's not that big of a deal, but having forty power is nice. You're gonna see. You're gonna see executioner being built a lot. You're gonna see executioner being built a lot. Items making a comeback because they keep nerfing attack speed items. So the fact that they keep nerfing attack speed items makes it harder and harder to just build dom or just build whatever pen item you're going to get that doesn't have um, attack speed. So you're going to see execution being built a lot for sure. Uh, so that's a nice little buff. It's not really a major buff or anything. It's just nice. Best at rework. Uh, decrease cooldown. Best at, in my opinion, best at is a dangerous god to buff because she has four, four damaging abilities and some of them have high scaling. So, you know, She's definitely a dangerous god to, to buff and change and all that stuff. Needs physical lifesteal and abilities when hitting enemies, additional enemy gods, and reveal a best set for six seconds. Is this a new one? Or is it just a buffed one against it? Is this a new one? This is a pretty good passive. This is pretty good against like Morgan, Loki. Gets minions five percent and life steal. Ooh, soul leader? Where my where's my soul leader gang out there? Razor rip decrease cooldown from thirteen to eleven. Wow, that's so short. Adjusted duration and tick pacing of this ability. Previous damage takes were zero one two three four or zero one two three. So instant and then three seconds. Damage takes now will occur zero point. Wow! Wow! This god might be OP. That's that becomes CC. She has CC immunity now. Wow. They buffed the crap out of her. Holy shit. That's that becomes CC immune and conjures a radiant projectile that travels forward in a line, damaging and stunning the first enemy god hit. A guardian of Bast is summoned at that location that picks up and grabs the enemy hit, bringing them back to the initial firing location. <laughs> On successful capture, a pool of quicksand is created under the enemy. A vortex which drags the target towards the center. Bro, you catch someone with this that doesn't have beads, that's de they're dead for sure. 100% scaling, by the way. Okay. Quicksand damage, 40, 0.5 seconds. Cooldown, 80. Goes up. This. Wow. This ability is very good. Goes through walls? Do, do, do that, does it pull through walls, too? That's insane if it does that. It pulls you through. Wow, this guy is OP. I'm calling it out, best. That's OP. Plus the maces, too. Oh, my. Bro, look how much damage is in the front line, man. Oh, my God. Why do I even play AD, like a backliner? You know how much damage there is in the front line now? Fucking insane. Cleana. Increases tick rate. Okay. Initial hit scaling from 90%. 80% increased rift damage. Okay, just slight nerfs. Uh, nausea. The ability now deals increased damage to the first enemy hit by the initial ring toss. Increased initial hit damage from blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. That's okay. A small buff. Maybe it helps her. Uh, him, sorry. Thor, increased physical power scaling of the first two hits. Okay. Decent buff. Zeus. While Zeus is not weighed down by his shield, he gains movement speed and attack speed. <laughs> Dude. Zeus making that comeback? Nah, I actually have no idea. 
Uh, Poseidon. Decrease tide cost. Decrease cooldown. Increase magical power. The cooldown, this is a good cooldown change, I'd say. Increase magical power scaling. Okay, that's good. Tide call. I like I like these buffs to, to Poseidon. It's actually pretty nice. But uh, I also think it wasn't too hard for him to get tied, right, with the trident. But who knows? Decent. I'd say decent buffs. AMC. This ability now slows the impaled target. This ability now decreases physical protections by 30% on impaled targets. That's very strong. This is a very strong buff. I mean, but, I mean, you still get owned by frontline dives, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe AMC solo, no joke. I'm not, I'm not even joking. Because a, a, the problem with AMC and building him damage is that, you know, you just get dove and you get owned. But honestly, I can see the AMC being a good solo. That's a good point, Sis. I mean, he literally just counters tanks with this. Mm -mm. AMC solo is uh, too risky is wrong. AMC in dual lane is more risky than AMC in solo lane. AMC is super fast with his hives, and he has a short lane, so he can run back to his tower very easily. In dual lane, you have to, the lane is way longer. It's way riskier to play AMC in dual lane. This is an X-Ball buff. I read this before. This is strong. Increasing his level 1 and his scaling. Oh, wait, hold on. Increase base attack speed per level from 1 to 1.5? Wow. This is some strong buffs. This is some strong buffs right here. Wow. You have to try out a lot of stuff. This is also a big buff, Jing Chen. Increase the damage here. I mean, this is a kind of a smaller buff, but it scales into well into late game against tanks and just everyone in general. Decrease the cooldown of hooks on. Yeah, see, one thing about Jing Chen is he has really long cooldown, so this is interesting. And decrease the mana cost. Oh, look at that by twenty. Decrease mana cost of his jump too. Holy shit. Pretty big Jing Chen buff. Xbox so underrated. He's not underrated at all. He's one of the worst hunters in the game right now. He's not at all underrated. These buffs here might uh, make him a little more viable. Uh, Guan Yu. Decrease cooldown by two seconds. That's a big buff. Guan Yu Warrior's Axe. The Fizz Power. Maybe one shots with his three. Who knows? Interesting patch. I don't like that they buffed Sigil. The, I would say the Warrior's Axe, Sundering Axe changes are like a more of a shift than a buff, right? That's more of a shift to just being an offensive starter instead of a tanky starter. But them buffing Sigil was like mind blowing to me. I think some decent, this AMC buff was very out of the blue for me. I feel like AMC is very strong, just as it doesn't get played because it's very unsafe. So this buff here um, is very interesting to me. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, X-Ball buff needed. Should be really interesting. And all the buffs they did to Hunter items are very small. Quality of life stuff. And just very small, like, little buffs. Five power here, five power there. Uh, but makes those items more relevant in the early game. Fail not. I can see being built now. So, interesting. All around. Can I explain my thoughts on Uller? I didn't see any Uller nerf here. But yeah, very interesting. It's going to change a lot. It's going to change a lot. This happens after group stage. So I think... I don't know if it goes live for playoffs or not. But yeah. Bro, Candy Shop Achilles... Hello? <laughs> Yo, yeah, what is this game rated? Ooh, whoa! Bonus balance patch! Hello! The first thing I see... Bonus balance! Mmm! I didn't see this! 
Decrease passive crit damage reduction from... See, they didn't do a full revert. They just did a half revert, right? Because it used to be 50%. From 60% to 55%, decrease physical... Beautiful. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Finally, some light at the, tun at the end of the tunnel. Finally, some light. Set decrease dash damage. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's a small nerf. Should He should still be good, but... You know, just a small nerf, try to balance him out a little bit. Nike. Oh, thank God. Another a Nike nerf, dude. This is the one of the most broken abilities in the game. You literally cannot miss it. Does damage, slows for six seconds, and gives you a humongous shield. Like, one of the most broken ultimates in the game by far. Good Nike nerf. Cthulhu nerf. Decrease max health buff. Good. Decrease base damage. Okay, small. Doesn't really matter. Small nerfs trying to balance the gods, not trying to take them out of the meta. All right, next, Odin nerf. They, oh, they're hitting all the OP solos, bro. Let's go. Increase cooldown of Ring of Spears. Oh, okay. Early game, okay. Decent. Decrease shield health. Nah, now, this, this is what I'm talking about. This is a good nerf, right? Decrease shield health in 400, 340. Beautiful. Love it. They're still nerfing Yamoja, huh? Mending Water Shields no longer stacks with itself from previous fires of the same ability that's still on a target. It will still refresh. Decreased bounce rate. Wow. This uh, this is hitting Yamoja where it hurts. Hurt too. This is a big nerf. Yamoja might not actually get banned anymore after this. I mean, her ult's still amazing, but, you know. He's just not an auto win and competitive, maybe, after this. This is actually a really strong nerf. Next up, Geb nerf. <laughs> Bro, can you believe that they were going to release Geb with 720 base damage on the alt, by the way? 720 base? Fucking hell, bro. Now they're nerfing it to 550, okay. A little more balance. Uler Reaver, decreased physical power scaling from 80% to 70%. Whatever, small nerfs, you barely, you can barely even notice them. When, when they nerf the scaling like this, you barely even notice it. But yeah, all right. The, the, I would say that bonus balance really was all amazing changes. Even the nerf to Uller I thought was good because he was a little ridiculous, right? I feel like the bonus balance really, really touched the OP gods that you saw in the last few weeks. Um, the regular patch or the big patch, I would say it was solid. Some some suspect changes in my opinion. I don't think AMC needed that buff. It's a dangerous buff in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> I also don't think the sigil buff was needed. The fail not revert was good. The uh, I think the axe change is very good. Because I think solo lane was pretty boring for the solo laners. You know, I, I don't have all hate for solo laners. You know, I still like solo laners, but I just think they're OP. But I think the change to Axe is good because I would I would say the current solo lane meta where you just rush like mystical mail and you build tanky is really boring. So I think that's a good change. Uh, but yeah, overall I would say bonus balance ten out of ten. Big patch I would say eight out of ten. Some things are a little sus. But yeah, still not bad. I think it was. I think it was good patches all around. I enjoyed it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that little patch notes segment.